There's certainly been a long-standing concern that potentially by using the scalp cooling that you decrease the amount of blood delivered to the scalp and therefore you decrease the amount of chemotherapy delivered to the scalp, that the scalp could then be a reservoir or a protected place where cancer cells could grow and that that could result in incurable cancer. And that's the, if cancer cells grow in the scalp, it's called scalp metastases. But actually we've done a lot of work to show that uh, one, uh, it's incredibly uncommon to have scalp metastases for breast cancer and most solid tumors. Uh, two, it's very rare to have scalp metastases as the only presentation of recurrent cancer. Usually you have cancer other, other places in the body and the scalp metastases come at that time or even later. Uh, and then three, we've looked at women who've used scalp cooling versus those who haven't. And my colleagues around the world have published data showing that there doesn't seem to be any increased risk of scalp metastases and that survival is the same if you use scalp cooling versus you don't use scalp cooling. So it really has made me very secure that scalp cooling is a safe technique and technology to use that doesn't increase the risk of cancer recurring for women with breast cancer.